full power of General Alexander Patch's 7th Army is massed on the beaches at Naples. Endless lines of equipment pour into landing vessels ready for delivery to the south coast of France. Back of the equipment are men, French, American, and British, each one ready to do a hero's job in freeing France forever from the Nazi tyrant. And finally, along a 40-mile stretch of sea, nearly a thousand ships get underway. Admiral Hewitt and General Patch discuss plans with Navy Secretary Forrestal. While high above the fleet, advanced units of gliders and paratroopers speed toward the French coast. Back of the first German defense zones, the paratroopers strike at the enemy's communications and demoralize his forces before our beachhead landings. While our paratroopers get in their deadly work, the fleet cuts loose. With the Nazi shore batteries neutralized, the Allied 7th goes in for the kill. These scenes of action in the liberation of France were taken by newsreel, Signal Corps, Air Force, Navy, and Coast Guard cameramen. And this is it, the opening of the Fourth Front, the third piercing thrust at Nazi-held France, the drive to link up with the Allied armies in the north and to force the enemy across the Rhine. The Mediterranean coast from Cannes de Marseille is soon in Allied hands. Hot spots of enemy resistance are blasted apart. The invasion moves forward on schedule. In a sweeping advance, Marseille, France's second city and greatest port, falls to the Allies. The drive spearheads north toward the Swiss border. Enemy forces suffer heavy losses. In four days, 7,000 Germans were killed or captured. During the same period, Allied casualties were only 300. At many points, the attack meets little opposition. When roadblocks are encountered, our tanks take over. With the French naval base of Toulon and the important communications hub of Lyon as prizes, the drive moves steadily west and north. Aided by our troops, civilians return to their homes as the tide of battle rolls on. Everybody is all smiles, including G.I. Joe. Some of the tens of thousands of prisoners bagged in our southern drive. The gap between our armies south of Paris and those near the Swiss border is slowly but surely closing on Hitler's desperate forces. Thank <laughs> you.